Hey everybody, Chad here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking the video. Today, I wanted to take a look at the new Hyundai Ioniq 5 and react to it and, and see, you know, through my eyes, through the eyes of a Tesla owner, um, get some honest reactions to this new Hyundai electric vehicle. Uh, a little different format today. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know down in the comments what you all think of this new Hyundai. If it's your first time here, be sure to like the video and subscribe, leave a comment, um, help us grow the reach of the channel. Appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's, let's, let's jump right into it and let's check out this, uh, this new Hyundai. All right, we are starting with a head-on image of the Hyundai Ionic 5 and, you know, right off the bat, first impression is, is really, really good. Um, especially, especially head on. Um, I will jump immediately over here and, and give you the side profile as well. And again, I, I think that first impressions very, very strong with the Hyundai. I, you know, personally, to me, the things that are jumping out right off the bat, I, I got to start with these wheels. These, these wheels are just absolutely sick. They, they look amazing. I, ah, man, it's just really rad. Um, for me, you know, that's immediately something that I'm interested in. I bet keeping those things clean is going to be a challenge. It looks like there's like a cap that pops off to uh, hide the, yeah, yeah, that's got to be what that is. Yeah, to hide the uh, bolts. But yeah, overall, really, really great look. Um, zoomed in, you can see some of the sensors back here. Uh, they were up front as well and on the side. Yeah, just a great look. You can see the door handles are flush with the body. A little bit of the Tesla-esque design. Great look overall. You can see some LEDs in the mirror, which is a great look. A lot of glass looking really good. And then you get your first peek in this in this shot of these sweet, sweet headlights, which are LED. Again, if you flip over to this one, get a closer look. Just cooler than cool. The just I am obsessed with those. I think they look really great um, based on a 70s car and a pony or something like that. Um, just just a fantastic look. Head on again. If we zoom in, you know, you can see the mirror block with, you know, it looks like cameras and sensors in it. So, you know, nothing, nothing new there, nothing revolutionary. That, that Hyundai emblem, which I think is really sharp and looks great on the front of a vehicle. There's the LEDs again in that mirror. Yeah, I, honestly, just a really, really great looking vehicle. My, my understanding is that size wise, it's going to be somewhere in the small to medium SUV size. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be bigger than the Volkswagen ID4, which is, you know, that that size vehicle is obviously, you know, something that people love and changed the changed the SUV market. So wouldn't wouldn't surprise me that it's that size. I think that, you know, it looks like there's going to be quite a bit of room. All right, let's jump over into the interior. Um, Let's move some of these images around here. These are what we were looking at. Okay, yes, yeah, so we've got uh, this woman sitting in here. Again, I, I don't have any context for how tall she is, but she's got a lot of headroom, plenty of room in the seats, plenty of room at the floor. First peek here at this console, which if you saw the teaser images that Hyundai put out for this, you know, you got to see a little bit about the console and how it moves forward and back. Um, I'm assuming we'll see more of that here in these next couple images. Um, let's take a look at just this interior shot here. Okay, so this is this is an interesting one. Um, I haven't seen this before. So you can see reclining options in the back. Um, but then these front seats are like reclined out, like Lazy Boy style. We've got footrests. Uh, you know, I guess we're I guess we're sleeping in here or, you know, using this giant glass ceiling, glass roof to 
uh, look up at the stars or something. I'm not sure if that's what they're trying to get at here. But uh, again, you can see the console has sort of moved. But a lot of space, still a lot of space down here. Obviously, with these seats back like this, the back seat is now gone. But that's okay, I, I guess. This is uh, kind of a fantasy image, you know, since we've gotten rid of the, the body of the car here. But um, yeah, it's kind of a weird shot. You know, I guess if you're going to relax and, and, and take a minute, you know, I suppose while you're charging or something like that, um, this, this gives you something to, to do, lay out something. I don't know. Uh, cool, though. The, the recliner stuff is neat. I haven't seen that before. It's like an old conversion van or something. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Let's move in to. Okay, these are just straight interior shots. Perfect. So we're looking down into the vehicle here. Again, you can see the console has moved back. Um, if we jump into this picture a little closer, we've got USB ports, um, you know, a lot of storage, some cubbies, cup holders. Let's see, let's jump out again and come over here. Another USB port as well as, um, let's see, just 12 volt, it looks like. And, you know, more storage, another cubby, it looks like. A lot of storage, a lot of, obviously the, the space is, is pretty clear here. Um, this was described to me as being sort of the purpose of the console, that it can move back to give you full access to the front seats, basically, um, making it easier to get in and out and stow and things like that. And then, you know, when the car is in motion, the, the console can move up to a more usable position for, you know, day-to-day -day activity. I like that a lot. I think that's a neat technology. Um, you know, Tesla wise, I do still after a couple of years with the Model X, I still get a little um, I still don't care for the console all that much. We are going to do sort of an official Model X review video coming up. So that's. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll save that for that video, but for now, you know, I think that this. Uh, Steering wheel looks interesting. I think we get a better image of that in the next one. Let's see if we can get closer to these door panels. This finish looks really cool. I can't tell if that's like a faux leather or, or a patterned fabric or a, a vinyl or a poly or something. I don't know. Uh, very normal window controls happening here. Looks like Bose speakers, which is awesome. You know, pretty normal stuff. Here, you know, we do get a good view of the steering wheel here. You can see, you can see the two stalks here. What appears to be a paddle of some kind. We've got buttons and switches and rollers in the in the steering wheel, which is pretty pretty great. Uh, more stuff happening over here, and then the steering wheel's got a nice little. Nice little curve to it, almost like a racing wheel or like an upside down racing wheel. Yeah, I just I thought you get a better view of it over here. OK, you can see the paddles a little better over here as well. And obviously on the stock for parking, um, but a great shape here. Good lines. Steering wheel with the sort of flat bottom is a, you know, a, a more um, a more modern take. Now you can see that, you know, it's probably a leathered or faux leather kind of situation happening over here um, as the design's different on this one. But same thing, um, paddles, buttons, uh, you get a little bit of a peek at the displays here. We'll talk about those in a second. Let's jump into the, okay, so we've got climate control. So, so fairly normal, so to speak, uh, climate control. You can see you've got climate here, uh, temperature, and then it looks like, yeah, radio controls are mainly up here. Uh, you got your volume power. You've got a tune knob, tune button, tune switch happening there. Let's jump into it on this one as well and take a, yeah, tune. That's interesting. And then let's jump into the displays. I'm going to kind of use both images here and, I'm, and I'm, I am jumping back and forth so we can see in this image uh, you know dual display 
Although, you know, it, it is basically one display, but it's formatted as if it's, you know, sort of like a heads up display, you know, vehicle cluster over here and then a secondary panel over here. I do I do like the design. Um, you get a good shot of it here. I do like this look, you know, basically one one big instrument cluster panel with uh, climate underneath it. I think that's a good look. So you can kind of, you know, you see better here what it's doing. So we've got radio information here, weather, battery image here. You know, the graphic interface looks great. Then you've got your, your normal time and uh, calendar, which is really great. And then, you know, on this side, on this one, you can see that we've got probably odometer. Uh, I'm guessing battery and range. And then speed. Yeah, speed happening over here as well. So a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff happening in these displays. Uh, oh, and uh, you can see your, so to speak, gear selection, what mode you're in happening up there as well. Uh, yeah, great look overall. I, I think the interior is very sharp. Yeah, not, not much to complain about. The, you know, finishes are, are, are pretty standard. I'd love to see what options are going to be available for this when it does finally uh, hit production which, you know, we're hearing is this year, maybe, maybe even as soon as a few months that this hits production. So that's going to be an interesting, interesting thing to see. I like this piping on this, on this chair here. That's really nice. Um, yeah, good stuff. So, okay, we're looking at a charging image here. If we jump in, uh, I like the, you know, sort of gas tank door for the charger. Um, I've done no research on what the charging network or anything like that is going to be for this vehicle. Um, I do actually have the Hyundai page up, so hopefully we can get a little more information on um, specs to react to here in a second as well. Again, outside looks great. You could have charging in the back. Pretty pretty normal, uh, opposite, opposite for the Tesla in terms of where the charger's at, but good look overall. Uh, here we've got our lady friend again reclined in the recliner uh just taking a nap let's see what's going on on the screen while we're doing that we are yeah i guess it's it's charging i'm i'm guessing in that in that image uh so we've you know good look again oh there you can see the paddles again there's something going on over here in the wheel you can kind of see it there you can see it there as well. Um, can't I can't read what it says, unfortunately. Drive mode, I guess. Drive mode. So that's interesting. So we're obviously going to have, you know, several modes, um, as you would expect, as most vehicles do. Pretty. Pretty standard stuff, I guess, at this point. I, I, I really do like the way it looks. Just to be perfectly honest, it's, it is really a great-looking vehicle, in my opinion. Um, especially if you're looking for one that you can lazy boy out in. And finally, same image as before. Heads on. Great look at those lights. You know, from a design perspective, I'm all in. I'm all in on this thing. I think it looks great. Um, I think that... It's a very accessible design, like the headrest, like the seats. Uh, the exterior is exciting and, and looks really great. I'm going to jump over here and take a look at the... Get rid of that. Take a look at the actual Hyundai site um, and see what we can come up with here uh, and, 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 and sort of take a look at some specs and, and see what we can learn. Uh, looks like a couple new images that we didn't see before that all pop open here. And let's see what those, okay, those will work. Um, cool. So nothing revolutionary here. Um, you know, if you, if you do get a chance, I think I'm not going to watch it on this video, but I think the, this little teaser video they put out, I pulled this article up earlier and then closed it just to be able to react to the images on the video here. But this does have some of the spec information. Um, 
yeah, crossover SUV size. This is what I was mentioning earlier, the, the Pony Coupe, which was uh, in 1974. Really great. Okay, there you go. 300 mile range. That's sort of what I was looking for. And a two-way charging feature that is sure to make it a popular choice for outdoor activities. Yeah, so I guess, you know, my understanding is that it has, you know, you can charge the vehicle and use the vehicle to charge other things. Which I think is going to... Okay, there you go. This is interesting. Okay, so most of the interior is eco-friendly. So probably that leather is not, uh, not a thing. But... Eco-friendly materials, recycled bottles, plant-based yarn, natural wool, eco-processed leather with plant-based extracts. I don't know what that means, but that's interesting. And then bio paint and plant extracts. Not 100% vegan. That's interesting. Um, standard and long-range configuration. I think at this point that's pretty normal. Nothing, nothing much to, to see there. Yeah, so just under 300 miles is what the range is going to be. Um, you know, for me at this point, our Model X uh, fully charged is, you know, just over 200 miles. We are daily charge. We're not charging it every day. We charge it every couple days, you know, about every, you know, essentially about every 150 miles, 140 miles is when we're charging. Um, so 300 miles is a, that's a sweet spot. Um, you know, that's a big one for us as we're moving forward and, and considering what our future with Tesla is, um, or, and what our future with electric vehicles in general is, um, is, is that, that range. I'd like to be able to use the Tesla for even more. We have never taken it on like a, a long road trip. We've taken it a few places here and there, but to take it on a long, like cross country road trip, for my, for, for, for my concerns, I need that range to be just a little farther than it is now. Um, so 300 is about what I'm thinking is, is going to be that number. And then, yeah, we've got, uh, okay, there you go. So 400 volt and 800 volt charging. So 800 volt charging, you know, that gives you, you know, basically this thing could, could move into, could come in and, and, and charge and, Helping communities with issues, um, yeah, could, could could power an oven or a treadmill. It says, um, you know, charging electric scooters or charging camping equipment or electronic devices. None of that's going to be an issue, other than you know taking away from the battery. But that's what it's designed for. The this is comparing that to the. Um, Ford F-150, which has the generator built in, which I'm, I think that's really cool and it's something I'm excited about. Um, the generator in the F-150, it's saying is 7.2. So, you know, about twice as, twice as powerful. But overall, you know, I think there's still a lot to like about this vehicle. I'm really excited to see... You go to build, does it let you? No, of course not. Okay. So, you know, I think overall... My, my reaction is strong. I, I think it's a great looking vehicle. I'm excited about some of the features. I'm, I'm, this guy needs to put his cup down. I don't know what he's doing there. Just put the cup in the cup holder, man. It's fine. Um, you know, I think that the range is exciting. The, the, the generator, the, you know, all that stuff is, is really great. I, I like the interior. I'm excited about the materials. Oh, this is interesting. Nice little display happening in the uh, charging port. You got a close button under the door, so hopefully you can get your finger out of the way. Uh, charger looking very plastic and oddly shaped, but I think that's part of what being an EV charger is now. Yeah, so, you know, my reaction is this. I think it looks great. I'm excited about the specs. I hope to see more specs, and I'd love to know more about it overall. But, you know, what we've seen in this little preview is exciting. You know, we don't, that's okay. So yeah, we don't exactly know what the price is going to be yet. Somewhere in the thirty to $40,000 range is the expectation. Hyundai will still qualify for the tax credit. So that makes it a little more interesting in the beginning. You know, I think the price is probably a little high. Um, just uh, again, just knowing what we know now, if, if there's more to it, then, then we'll definitely talk about that later. But 
30 to 40,000. In that range, you're getting into the Model 3 range, you're getting into the Model Y range. Without knowing everything to know and about, you know, space and, and what these are like to drive and things of that nature, you know, I think you are right around a price where people are going to think that, that the Tesla is going to be the better option because they've been around longer. They, they seem to know, you know, they, they know their stuff better. I don't know. Um, so right off the bat, the price isn't exciting for me. But if you're somehow scared off by Tesla and you're wanting to go with Hyundai, then maybe, maybe this is going to be a, a good candidate. But, you know, for now, I think my, my general thoughts are that I, I'm excited. I, I, I like that Tesla's getting this competition. I'm excited about electric cars. And, and this one seems like it's going to be a good option. Like I said, we'll have to figure out more about the price. Um, we'll have to figure out a few more of the specs to know for sure. And then see what our options look like for, for building one out. Again, I'd love to see different colors. love to see what the interiors look like. But all of that will come in due time. So that's it. That's my reaction to the Hyundai Ioniq 5. Uh, if you guys like this video, please let me know down in the comments. Would be happy to do more of these. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start putting out more electric vehicle content again. Uh, it is something I really enjoy, and I, I've enjoyed seeing all this news coming out. Um, we're going to do a Model X full review for you here on the channel. Um, I'm going to talk about sort of what my feelings are about Tesla overall now and, and sort of what my hopes and plans are for our family's electric vehicles going forward future so that's going to do it for today's video hey if you watched all the way to the end please be sure to click that subscribe button hit the like and leave us a comment down below it really does help us grow this channel um, and, and, and it just means so much to us so thank you so much for watching i appreciate it and i will see you in the next video